Hey everyone, it's Pretty Gone Cuba here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys to look PLO on the Rubik's Cube. PLO is the last step for the c flop method. It's done when you have a top face solved and all you need to do is solve the West in one more algorithm. If you want to know how I did that just there, then I highly recommend you consider watching this video because this is all about how to solve PLL all at once. In order to learn full PLL, you will have to learn 21 algorithms, which can sound like a lot, so instead you can use 2 look PLL, which will only use 6 algorithms instead of 21. And even if 6 algorithms does sound like a lot, I'll be trying to make this video as simple as possible, and feel free to always pause the video and go at whatever pace you will like. The way how 2 look PLL works is that you will firstly permutate the corners and then you will permutate the edges in another algorithm and this can be done very quickly so make the corners and make the edges here are all the cases for permuting the edges. The first case is recognized with headlights on one side. The second case is recognized with no headlights on each side. And if you have headlights on every single side, then you've solved it and you can move on to the next step. And these are the only two algorithms you need to know for this case. The first case is the easiest, and this is recognized by having headlights on one side. For this case, firstly, match up these headlights. Once the headlights are matched, simply hold the headlights on the left and do this algorithm r u r prime u prime r prime f r2 u prime r prime u prime r u r prime f prime now that algorithm may have sounded like it had a lot of moves but i'll show you guys this algorithm again and i'll try to make this algorithm be explained as simple as possible so this algorithm starts with r u r prime u prime and think of it like taking out this block and then the next move is r prime f so think of it like putting this block into the front and then r2 u prime r prime think of it like bringing this block into the front the u prime think of the r u r prime as bringing this block to the front and then doing f prime and this algorithm can actually be done very quickly when done correctly the next case might have a slightly longer algorithm but i'll show you how to do this case right now so this is recognized with no headlights on every side these two won't be the same these two won't be the same and these two won't be the same. So when you don't have any headlights on each side, hold it from whatever angle you would like and do this algorithm. F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, f prime and once you've done all those algorithms you can simply just move the top layer and then all the corners will be solved here are the final four cases for two look PLL. for this there are only four algorithms you need to memorize and don't worry because most of these algorithms are actually a lot easier to learn than the algorithms i showed you previously as you can see these two cases don't have a side fully solved however for these two one of the sides is solved hold the solved bar on the back if it's opposite this edge is supposed to go to the opposite position however if it's adjacent the edge should go to the adjacent position so when you have it when it's an adjacent edge do this algorithm r2 u r u r prime u prime r prime u prime r prime u r prime if the right edge is an opposite edge then do this algorithm and it's actually very similar to the algorithm i showed you last time but backwards and that algorithm goes like this r u prime r u r u r u prime r prime u prime r2 the final two cases are recognized with no bar solved. The way to notice the difference between these two is that one of these will have all the edges going opposite to one another. This edge needs to swap with this edge, this edge needs to swap with this edge, which needs to swap with this edge. And the other case is actually very similar, except for that the edges that need to swap are not going to be opposite, actually going to be adjacent. These two edges need to be swapped from one another, and these two edges need to be swapped. If the edges that need to be swapped go opposite from one another the algorithm you do is m2 u m2 u2 m2 u 
M2. Now this algorithm used middle layer turns, which might seem a little bit difficult at first, but if you're interested in some other kind of cube notation, then I highly recommend you consider watching my cube notation tutorial, which can be found in the top card and in the description. The final case actually has a similar algorithm, as this algorithm also uses slice turns. For this algorithm, you need to hold it with these edges that need to swap adjacently, and make sure these edges are on the front right side of the cube. So do this algorithm m2 u m2 u m prime u2 m2 u2 m prime u2 Congratulations on successfully learning to look PLL. If you haven't already seen my to look OLL tutorial, I highly recommend you consider watching that. But with to look OLL and to look PLL, you can solve your whole last layer in only four algorithms now. So I'll show you guys a four look last layer example. Make the cross and make the corners. Make the corners and make the edges. So as you can see from that example, full look last layer can actually be done really quickly. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications as this channel is all about cubing with new videos being released every week. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.